hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel welcome back to another video thank you so much for tuning in once again and thank you all for subscribing to my youtube channel um guys i've been seeing your comments and your support on this channel and i really appreciate it um i would get back to each one of you and i promise to address each of your concerns concerning the school application process on my youtube channel and so um in today's video with the title we are i'm going to be teaching you how to write a very excellent statement of purpose in order to be admitted and to be given the scholarship that you have always been wanting in order to come to abroad or study in your dream country now before this video um I posted a video where I read my statement of purpose that got me an admission and so um, I'm sure like I have already set the tone before this video if you want to know like more of what I'm going to talk about even though with this video I'll be giving you the detailed tips you could go there and probably just like copy the feel of my ideas in your statement of purpose but like you should probably paraphrase or something like just feel free and go ahead and use that and i'm going to be putting the link in the description or just here or here if you're new here hey my name is edifia and you're welcome to my channel and i'm happy to have you here without further ado let's get right into the video why statement of purpose statement of purpose is very important because it tells the graduates admissions committee that you are important it tells them why you are the best candidates to be selected amongst the thousands or hundreds of thousands of students that apply to that school or specifically the program okay so statement of purpose is an integral part of your admission and it tells whether you would get into a school or you might be rejected but like in this space no one should get rejected okay we all need to get accepted into our dream schools and that is why you decided to click on this video and so with the steps you should be able to write a very top-notch statement of purpose to be admitted before writing a statement of purpose you should try as much as possible to be clear concise and precise a statement of purpose should be as short as possible okay and some schools they kind of like state the sub they give you subheadings on what to write but some in, in other schools they're like write a statement of purpose and so you're like how do i go about it and so like i encourage you to normally like have probably three paragraphs or two paragraphs it shouldn't be lengthy because the hundreds and thousands of people applying to that school and no one would have time to read your five pages of statement of purpose you could go like from three to five as a separate paragraphs okay you should begin by introducing yourself when i say introducing yourself what i mean is you should be able to tell them who you are when i say tell them who you are what i mean is like tell them yourself like you come up with your name where you've lived in the country you are so you can say like i am from ghana so i'm like i'm from ghana and then there's so much like inequality going on ghana is having so much economic crisis and you could say like you're poor and the challenges like you've gone through and then why you're inspired to study the program okay so like tell them about yourself that is the first thing that you need to like consider when writing a statement of purpose the next thing is to talk about your academic and technical interests now talking about your academic or technical interests should still have like a correlation with 
the subject or the program that you want to study maybe your technical interest is like you studied something you studied gis you studied remote sensing you studied um transport planning you studied urban planning district planning and those things have equipped you to um make informed decisions and that is why you think you are the right person to be admitted into the program so like you play around things like that your academic and then your technical interest like those things are very important but even though you are mentioning like things centered around your academic and technical interests do not forget to to link it it should be synced with the program you are studying so the program you are applying for is medicine you don't go and talk about how you did like mechanic like you see the contrast the admissions committee are going to say like this person doesn't know what she's talking about so like bass then I move on to the next person the next thing to do is to still talk about your future goals in the program you need to explain to them what you would be doing probably in the next two years five years ten years in the program for instance um let me just say i am very concerned with um humanitarian works and then um it's my topmost priority to cause um to to have an impact in the world and to promote like social change and so i'm like okay in the next five or ten years i see myself probably having a firm or a consultancy or having an ngo helping people maybe poor kids um deprived kids like, building to the sdg which is like no poverty or zero hunger or sustainable like cities life on land like you know things like that okay so tell them your, your future goal in the program and how when you are being admitted that program is going to help you to achieve that dream that you'd want or the dream that you have that way they're going to say oh this person is really focused and this person is like ambitious and we think this person will be a good candidate so you might be thinking i've just like been going to school and i haven't like really had um a good thought about this thing so what do i do every fear um that's fine um just like think because each and every one has their interests so this goes back to like my first video when i was telling you guys about um how to apply to a school which is like choosing a program that you have interest in and so if you haven't watched that video please go back and watch that video so like your interest like everything is just going to come out or everything is just going to flow if the program if you have a connection with the program okay that's a lot of people say i don't have a connection with the program but there is funding and so if it's funding that's where my interest is that's fine like you would figure it out it's just like be patient be calm do not do anything if you don't know what to do everything is just going to come to you okay with your future goals like in the program you could also state that i want to work with professor a b c d whatever is reading your statement of purpose is like okay this person has done his or her research and then even if like fortunately if whoever you stated the name happens to be reading your statement of purpose the person will be like oh wow i'm so honored this person wrote my name in his or her statement of purpose because um the person it, it it shows that the person has done his or her research and so like before you write a statement of purpose you need to also do your research well which is like going to the school's website and finding out which professors you would want to work with and which professors have like um, an experience in your research area or which is which professors teach in your um area of specialization that way when you write their names they can be like oh okay so like imagine you writing a math professor a professor who teaches math 
in like your statement of purpose when you're applying to like um um theater art they'll be like this person doesn't know what he or she is doing you want to give the admissions committee the impression that you are on top of your game and you know what you are about and doing i hope by far you've been enjoying this video if you are please be sure to hit the subscribe button like this video and turn on your post notifications so that you can be the first to always watch my videos when i upload a new content if you do that this tells youtube that oh this is a video and so let's share it so please do that for me okay and share share the video and i think basically that's that and so you would want to end your statement of purpose by praising the school which is i hope that i get to be admitted into your prestigious school or it's my hope to be um, admitted into the like the most maybe academically vibrant school, vibrant school in the city and so like praise the school and just leave this kind of mark that you are really looking forward to being admitted and so you are you are enthused about what you're doing you don't need to sound like really needy all you just need to do is to sound like inspired enthused and then like ready and whoever is reading will get the sense of that if you'd portray that and so these are the essential things that you would have to take note of and i would want to end by saying edit your work thoroughly you do not look you do not want to send in a statement of purpose that has so much grammatical errors you would come out as a very unserious student because as i said there are hundreds and thousands of people applying for the same program and it's very competitive why should you be given an admission why should you be considered for the scholarship so please edit your work thoroughly if you cannot do that we have like a lot of english expertise you can like go to them like can you read my work? Can you prove my work? Even sometimes after after doing your work, you could like just close your laptop, come back the next day, and then just um just go read through it again. That way you would find you would even fish out some mistakes. And also with the help of Grammarly, essays have become very easy. And so Please download Grammarly if you cannot. And I know probably like paying an editor might be expensive. So technology has made it very easy and simple for us to edit our works with the use of Grammarly. This video is not sponsored, is not sponsored by Grammarly, but just Grammarly would help you. I want you to win and I want you to get admitted and I want you to travel to your dream school. And that is why I am doing this for you and for us so we can all be happy. And so edit your work thoroughly. And then fingers crossed, everything should be fine. Watch my other videos and then let me know what you think about it. And I'll be bringing you another amazing and informative content in my next video so peace and stay tuned bye